Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny. Rice water for hair growth. It's all the craze and the news about it continues to spread daily because people are amazed on how well it works. But this is not anything new. It's existed for hundreds of years in Africa, Asia, and so many more places. We will discuss the science behind rice water and how it entices hair growth and how it takes care of the overall health of your head and your hair. Are there dangers to using rice water? We'll discuss that. I'll also have a brief tutorial about how to prepare your rice water and what to expect. Now, my natural hair, which you'll see shortly, is to the middle of my back, but my goal is to be waist length in about two years. I have used rice water in the past for about a little under a month. I saw some growth and I just kind of stopped. But with this goal that I want to have and this growth, I think that I'll add this rice water routine weekly. But I will show you what I do and how I maintain my hair health under wigs and extensions. That's all coming up next. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome, and I'm so happy that you're here. For my returning subscribers, hey, hey, I'm so glad that you're back. Friendly reminder, this is a movie and television show review channel, so please feel free to look at the playlist. I am just adding more playlists to broaden the audience. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. I wanted to include some photos of my natural hair. These photos are from about a year ago. I did a basic blowout at home and flat ironed my hair. I do this process once a year just for length check and to check my scalp just to make sure everything is healthy. And this is just a photo from the front when I got home, just showing the curls from the front. That's it. And now we're getting to the tutorial. Yay. So I got some organic white rice. I am so cheap. I was about to get regular cheap rice, but I thought, okay, stop being cheap. It's rice. Stop tripping. Um, get a measuring cup. I chose a mason jar for the rice to ferment, but we will talk about that in just a little bit. And find something to rinse your water with. And I chose a bowl and some filtered water. So we're going to go ahead and open the rice. Some people choose to use about a cup of rice, which is fine. You don't need any more than that. Um, using any more than a cup of rice will just defeat the purpose because you only need a small amount of rice to be fermented with water. And I'm just closing the bag up. It has its own resealable label. I'm putting that to the side. And you want to pour about two cups of water because you want enough water to cover the rice completely. If you notice that it's not enough water, feel free to pour more. I see that uh, I could use a little bit more water because it's barely covering the rice. Um, so I think here that I pour a little bit more water. No, I don't. I thought I did. Anywho, so I'm just stirring the rice. You can use your hands. You can use your hands. You do not have to use a spoon. But we just want to wash anything that came from the factory. We want to get any possible dirt. Since this is organic rice, it's highly unlikely that this will be too cloudy with things from the factory. Um, but I, yes, this is where I add a little bit more water because I'm seeing that the water is barely over the surface of the rice. So I'm adding a little bit more. There we go. Now we have the distinction between the rice and the water. We want a little bit more product to add to our hair. So we are just cleaning that as much as possible. You will notice that the water is getting cloudy. Some people don't do this process, but that is what is necessary. You wanna get rid of anything that came from the factory. So I already poured out the cloudy water. So now I am pouring the washed rice into my choice of storage, which is the mason jar. And I'm getting as much rice as possible from the measuring cup and just dumping it in there.
Now I am adding clean filtered water to our clean rinsed rice and I'm filling it all the way up to the top because I want there to be a significant amount of water that is over the rice. As you can see, we want this water to ferment and we will discuss that during the application process in this video. So now I'm covering the top. If you're using a cup, a bowl, make sure that you cover with saran wrap or foil because we want it to be undisturbed and covered. I wash my hair weekly. I've taken down, I've added some shampoo to a section, but I've taken down my braids that I had um, for over a month under my wig. But as you can see, my scalp is really clean. There's no flakiness. There's no dry gel all over the place. This is because when I wear wigs or extensions, I make sure to moisturize my braid and the actual scalp using almond oil or coconut oil. Now I am just putting it into sections so it, it's more manageable as I apply the shampoo. You don't have to do this. This is just how I wash my hair. Now some people during this process, they choose to let the rice water ferment for 30 minutes to 45 minutes, but I am choosing to ferment the rice water for 48 hours. We'll talk about that a little bit more, but I wanted to show you my shampoo process before applying any rice water. You can use any shampoo you want, but this is what I have at home for the moment. And I've applied some shampoo and I am working in that product, loosening any oils that we have on the scalp. I don't know what hair texture I am, 4B, 4C, I have no idea, but I'm showing you, maybe somebody could tell me what texture this is. But you can see that the shampoo is worked through the hair and I do this to each section of hair. This is how I shampoo my hair before applying any water. I am working in the product, massaging my scalp after it being embraced for a very long time. And I am just massaging my scalp, making sure that I'm touching every area. Most people get in the shower and they do all this, but I'm thinking of all the water that you're wasting just in there, just doing this process. And, you know, I just choose to do this because it's more... I have more control over what I'm doing and I'm taking my time. There's less tangling and it's more control and I can take my time. But do I do that to each section of hair. I've rinsed my hair of all the shampoo and before I go any further, I need to do a length check. I'm just taking a piece of hair. If I'm doing this wrong, y'all, I apologize. I don't know if I'm measuring this correctly, but I did my best. I got a tape measure. And I am going to put the very tip, the silver part, on my scalp. And I'm going to just pull that piece of hair down. I'm using the nape, the very, very bottom of my nape area. And it's wet, so I'm trying, y'all. <laughs> and I'm just going to pull the hair all the way down, that piece of hair, until it stops. And 16.5, at that point, the hair was slipping out of my fingers. So let's get to the rice water. So now I am sectioning my hair. It looks like I pulled that really hard, but I didn't. But I'm sectioning my hair to apply the rice water. Now let's break down the science. I'm showing you that I diluted it because I fermented for 48 hours. Anytime you ferment something, you are changing its pH level okay so since I diluted that and it's been 48 hours that pH level of that rice water has increased and just to be safe I diluted that water so I poured a cup of my fermented rice water and I added one more cup of water to dilute now I used organic rice so there wasn't a smell usually if you ferment rice regular rice for more than 24 hours it starts to have a very sour smell and I'm just showing you that I am dividing my hair into sections and I'm saturating the roots of the hair the scalp and all the way down 
to the bottom. Now, rice water and fermenting. Let's talk about the science. When you ferment your rice water to 30 to 45 minutes, that pH level is matching your hair, the pH level of your hair. When it's more than that, we are intensifying the pH and fermenting is bringing out much more of those nutrients, okay? It seals the cuticles. There's less friction on your hair. There's vitamin B. There's nutrients, carbohydrates called inositol. It boosts elasticity and it strengthens your hair and also with something called patara. So make sure that you understand that is the science of, of why rice water increases and entices that growth because you are fermenting getting that water and applying it to your scalp and your hair. Is it dangerous? I think if someone has had sensi sensitivity or bad experiences with rice water, I honestly, this is just my opinion. I do have a science degree. This is just based on my estimates. I think people who are having irritation or bad experiences with rice water is because they have let that rice water ferment for a very long time and they did not dilute that water. If you have that fluid with a high pH, you have a very high chance in your body having some sort of reaction because you are putting a totally different pH level on your skin and on your body. Okay, so that is my opinion of potential dangers of placing this on your hair. But to be safe, dilute the water. Um, when it has been fermenting for more than 24 hours. You can ferment rice water for up to a week, but be very careful. You are running some risk and not knowing how your body is going to react. And I am twisting the hair into sections and I'm just looking at like, I was kind of shocked, like, man, my hair looked like I had put oil on it. It was really shining. I'm like, wait, hold up. Is this what it is? I'll be a barrel, barrel. I'm like, okay, I would do this. So I am adding this to my routine weekly you guys so let's talk about boiling rice water is there a difference um i am as you can see i have all of the rice water on my hair and twist and i'm letting that sit for 30 minutes then i'll rinse it out and now i'm just showing you after the rice water is rinsed out i am just adding conditioner and the conditioner that I already had at home was Giovanni, and it's for all hair types. I always try to look for products that are for all hair types. And it has tea, tea tree oil in it, which is a triple th threat. And that really excites your follicles and promotes growth. And I am just placing that onto e each section of hair. And I am going to do a flat twist because that is how I keep the hair flat safe under my wig and I just look how the comb is just kind of just sliding through you want a good conditioner that gives you what's called a uh, slippage meaning that comb is just look at that it's just gliding through and I'm just going to do a flat twist twist but let's just go into boiling rice water some people boil their rice water but scientifically when you do that you have a very small window of pulling the nutrients from rice water. If you don't pull that rice at a good time off heat, you are increasing your chances of destroying all of those nutrients. So you could just be putting spraying plain water on your head for all you know, that might be diluted water. So just make sure that you're precautious of that and that is why some people boil rice water and some people don't. Is it effective? Yes, it's effective. But just be careful because you may have washed out and you may have boiled out those nutrients from the rice water. So I am just twisting my hair into a flat twist. And don't worry about using too much conditioner. Let your hair just drink up all of that product. And I'm just showing you, I'm just applying that to flat twist to my entire head. And just kind of wiping my hands and moving on. So I have, <laughs> I have done those flat twists all the way around my hair. 
as you can see it's very little hair i should have shown you what was in the comb but it really wasn't that much in the comb but it's good to have shedding because that hair has been sitting there under the wig and when you're combing that out and you've had your hair in flat twists or braids for a while that is the hair that has been stored there um all that time that you haven't combed out so don't panic about that um so i'm gonna do that for a month you guys and we will come back and i will show you the growth good luck put your comments and questions below and i'll see you again Bye.